like this. Right, I'm just about to head off out now to get my fruits and vegetables. I'm wearing sunglasses. It's so sunny outside. Um, I'm going to show you. It's not... It's just sunny. It's like too bright. So I've got my sunglasses on. I don't really want to show my eyes right now because I just feel like my eyes are really red and puffy at the moment. Tiredness and also probably all the junk I've been eating before has kind of made my eyes look tired constantly. So... I am about to head out now. I'm going to vlog on my phone, not on this camera, because I don't want to carry out a massive hench camera. <laughs> well, a big camera, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to vlog on my phone. It's probably not going to be the best quality, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Bye! I'm back at, the, back at my house now. And I just got like uh, a few bits. I'm going to unpack it all and then I'm going to show you. Um, actually, look. This is the bag. I've laid it down like that because for some reason it doesn't stay up straight. It's got all my goods in there. And I've decided I'm going to make a walnut mint um, taco thingy majiggy mubob for my lunch. So... I might just do a video of me making that, if I can. I feel exhausted. I think my age is, is actually starting to catch up with me, actually. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to unpack it. Okay, so I've basically, I've emptied out, I think my battery's dying, I hope not. I've emptied out all my um, produce, and I've still got my gloves on, actually. I've got here, I've got a few oranges, some banana, I've actually got a few more bananas over here actually there they are um, some bananas this should last me if not a week a few days five days or something um, I've got avocados a couple of avocados some lemons um, some pomegranates two mangoes here I've got some dill spinach some lettuce uh, some red peppers some tomatoes some walnuts I've got the ones that you can crack, which I don't know if I'm even going to be able to do it. Um, some cucumbers, some sweet corn. I got these blueberries yesterday, actually. And I've showed you these already, these medjool dates. Um, that I bought. I bought those yesterday, but they're part of my stash. So, yeah, I'm really quite impressed, actually. And I'm actually about to have... And the thing that I need to, yep, so that's all my produce. The thing that I need to make sure that I do this time is eat enough food, as in eat enough calories, um, consume enough fruits and vegetables in the day. Because I find that, I find that when you, even though you don't feel that full feeling that you get when you have cooked food, um, I find that I feel, I'm just holding the camera because I haven't got the tripod yet, I feel that because there's more nutrients in the food, I feel like I don't need to eat as much of it, so I'm not feeling the cravings as much, so I'm just like, no, I don't want to have anything, because I always have to force myself to actually consume the fruits and vegetables, so this time around, I'm going to make sure I consume I'm going to make sure I consume the fruits and vegetables um, as much as possible. Um, I'm going to vlog my lunch. Um, I'm going to make a taco meat something. I'm going to kind of improv improvise with it because I've made this before but I never used the mushrooms and I looked in a couple of other recipes and realised they make they use the mushrooms. I thought I might as well use the mushrooms then and see what it tastes like with the mushrooms. I got these, actually I didn't show you these mushrooms. I got these mushrooms. <sighs> Even focus. I'm not really sure what they're called. I think they might be called they might, they might be the oyster mushrooms because I've never actually used these. Actually, I used it before to make a wrap, but I wasn't sure what it was called. Um, I think a lady on YouTube said that they were called oyster mushrooms. 
If you let me just take one out so you can just confirm to me if that's what they are called. These. They look really strange, but they're delicious. Because I'm generally I don't like mushrooms. I don't like portobello mushrooms. I don't like I don't mind it when it's been kind of roasted, but I don't like them raw. I don't like mushroom um I don't like uh, those other mushrooms, the small ones. Um, these ones are the only ones that I like raw because I had these. I made a wrap one day with them raw, and it just they taste so, they kind of taste meaty or something. I mean, I don't really like. I'm not really concerned about it tasting like meat, but it goes. It has a, a sort of meaty kind of taste even when you don't cook it. Anyway, I didn't. I forgot to say I've got parsley down here, and yeah, that's deal. So I'm gonna do a vlog. I'm gonna vlog actually. I'm gonna vlog my lunch. What I'm gonna make now. Um, yeah, I might as well do that actually. Only not, God knows where I'm gonna put the, the, this camera, but um, I might just use my webcam instead. Anyway, um, that's me for now. If you can actually see me, because I, I don't even know what's going on with this camera at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make some lunch now, actually. I don't even know the time, but I think it might be around nearly lunchtime. And I'm actually quite, I'm actually feeling quite hungry now. So, I think I'm going to make something. Alright, anyway, bye. Hey, I'm back and I'm recording on my webcam now. Do you know what? Excuse all the mess in the background. I've just got so much stuff going on at the moment. You know, I'm doing a massive clear out and stuff because I've got bags everywhere and I've got all this other crap in the background. But, um, I'm cracking my walnuts. <laughs> this is just hilarious. I don't have a nutcracker and I was going about to go and buy one and the man in the shop said, don't bother, you can use a, a jar to crack it open. And so I'm using a jar. It's actually quite easy because they're quite easy to crack open. They're quite, the shell's quite soft. This is actually cheaper than buying because the ones that I was going to buy were quite quite expensive. They were like four pounds for like a tiny little packet like that. Whereas these are per you buy them per kilo and you can just get a lot more for your money basically. So I just thought I'd just do it like this. Even though it's gonna gonna be a bit of annoying and a bit annoying to crack it open. You know, I'm not, I'm saving a bit of money in the end at the end of the day. So basically I'm cracking them open. I'm gonna need I don't know how many I'm gonna need. Well, the other ones were bloody easy. The ones I did on, ca on, not on camera. Yeah, it takes. Uh, the first one I did was just one try and it was done. They're quite soft. You just make sure you don't, don't get the shell inside. Obviously, I'm going to use these walnuts to make my the taco meat thing. Obviously, I don't really care if it tastes like meat because I'm not bothered about it tasting like meat, but it's the texture, you know, to have like a bit of. It adds a bit of texture to the, to the dish rather than just having like. You know, some lettuce or cucumber in there or something, or some kind of peppers or something. So it's actually quite therapeutic. <laughs> you cannot see my head. It's actually quite therapeutic. Oh, I'm using my webcam now. I'm not using my DSLR camera because I've got no tripods to use. Generally, I prefer to use the webcam sometimes though because you can see it on such a big screen, so it's just easier. When you have the DSLR camera, the screen's so tiny. I'm not going to stand here doing this for the next hour, so I'm going to switch off the camera. This is really funny, though. This is so funny. It's actually really therapeutic. I'm so excited, though, because I'm really hungry. And I just can't wait to just eat this food. I'm so starving. I'm probably going to make, also I'm going to make, I've got some zucchinis. I just need to go out and get some sun-dried tomatoes. I've tried to get some, I can't find it anywhere. How annoying, how can you not find some, unless I've sun-dried tomatoes anywhere. Anywhere! Obviously in Whole Foods, but I'm not going to Whole Foods at the moment. It's about an hour away from where I am. The Whole Foods that I have got. And it's really expensive. For a little box of sun-dried tomatoes, it's five pounds. It's too much. Or you can... I'm sure you can make some that you can dry the tomatoes yourself. Maybe in the dehydrator or something. I don't know. Because it's just really expensive. But the thing is, they add the depth of flavour to the marinara sauce. You kind of need it. If you want to have if you want to make 
a marinara sauce. Um, if you want to make a marinara sauce for your um, vegan pasta, raw vegan pasta thing, then it's very important because it gives it that depth of flavour. I've never tasted the marinara sauce. Um, the thing is, a raw vegan marinara sauce that doesn't have that in there. Um, Even I started using I started using it in cooked marinara sauce as well. Because before I never used to. I used to just use tomatoes, as in tomatoes, onions, garlic, as in you know fresh tomatoes. I mean, I never used to use. Um, I think I'm going to just leave it at that now. This, this walnuts, but they're actually really they they taste so much better than the, the ones that have been sitting there because they're already because they're still in the shell. But the ones that are out of the shell, the flavour kind of goes and there's texture. So I'm not going to use that many, you know. Anyway, I'm going to just um, switch the camera off and show you what it looks like when it's done. Hey, I'm back and I'm recording on my webcam now. Do you know what? Excuse all the mess in the background. I've just got so much stuff going on at the moment. You know, I'm doing a massive clear out and stuff because I've got bags everywhere and I've got all this other crap in the background. But um, I'm cracking my all off. <laughs> This is just hilarious. I don't have a nutcracker, and I was gonna about to go and buy one, and the man in the shop said, don't bother, you can use a, a jar to crack it open. And so I'm using a jar, it's actually quite easy, because they're quite easy to crack open, they're quite, the shell's quite soft. This is actually cheaper than buying, because the ones that I was going to buy were quite quite expensive, they were like four pounds for like a tiny little packet like that. Whereas these, are per, you buy them per kilo, and you can just get a lot more for your money basically so I just thought I'd just do it like this even though it's gonna gonna be a bit of annoying and a bit annoying to crack it open you know I'm, not, I'm saving a bit of money in the end, at the end of the day so basically I'm cracking them open I'm gonna need I don't know how many I'm gonna need god damn one were bloody easy the one I did on, ca on, not on camera yeah it takes uh, the first one I did was just one try and it was done they're quite soft you just make sure you don't, don't get the shell inside Obviously, I'm going to use these walnuts to make my taco meat thing. Obviously, I don't really care if it tastes like meat because I'm not bothered about it tasting like meat. But it's the texture, you know, to have like a bit of it adds a bit of texture to the to the dish rather than just having like you know some lettuce or cucumber in there or something or some kind of peppers or something. So it's actually quite therapeutic. <laughs> you cannot see my head. It's actually quite therapeutic. Oh. I'm using my webcam now, I'm not using my DSLR camera because I've got no tripods to use. Generally, I prefer to use the webcam sometimes though because you can see it on such a big screen, so it's just easier. When you have the DSLR camera, the screen's so tiny. I'm not going to stand here doing this for the next hour, so I'm going to switch off the camera. This is really funny though. This is so funny. It's actually really therapeutic. I'm so excited though, because I'm really hungry. And I just can't wait to just eat this food. I'm so starving. I'm probably going to make, also I'm going to make, I've got some zucchinis. I just need to go out and get some sun-dried tomatoes. I've tried to get some, I can't find it anywhere. How annoying, how can you not find some, unless I've sun-dried tomatoes anywhere. Anywhere! Obviously in Whole Foods, but I'm not going to Whole Foods at the moment. It's about an hour away from where I am. The Whole Foods that I have got. And it's really expensive. For a little box of sun-dried tomatoes, it's five pounds. It's too much. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can make some you can dry the tomatoes yourself. Maybe in the dehydrator or something. I don't know. Because it's just really expensive, but the thing is, they add the depth of flavour to the marinara sauce. You kind of need it if you want to have, if you want to make a marinara sauce. Um, if you want to make a marinara sauce for your um, vegan pasta, raw vegan pasta thing, then it's very important because it gives it that depth of flavour. I've never tasted the marinara sauce. Um, the thing is, a raw vegan marinara sauce that doesn't have that in there. Um, Even I've started using I started using cooked marinara sauce as well. Because before I never used to. I used to just use tomatoes, as in tomatoes, onions, garlic, 
as in, you know, fresh tomatoes. I mean, I never used to use, um, I think I'm going to just leave it at that now. This walnuts. But they're actually really, they, they taste so much better than the ones that have been sitting there because they're already, because they're still in the shell. But the ones that are out of the shell, the flavour got kind of goes and the texture. So I'm not going to use that many, you know. Anyway, I'm going to just um, switch the camera off and show you what it looks like when it's done. Right, so I've actually put, I um, can't really see it on here. I've put it, because I've got this big chopping board in front of me, so I can't see it. I put the walnuts in, and I'm going to put the, um, I put walnuts in, I put greens, uh, the scallion greens in there, just about two snips. And then I put some parsley, some, and now these are the oyster mushroom things, I'll just top them up, throw them in there. I think I'm just all over the place and I'm just vlogging just to sort of show you what I'm up to. So I'm gonna put some lemon one couple of squeezes they say. Yeah. I'm gonna just um move this book that I looked at it stated that this needs to be dehydrated but that's what it looks like but um I don't know if I'm gonna bother doing it I 
Okay. That's dumb. The same thing, It's always good to have the tunes playing while you're preparing the yummy, delicious foodie. Anyway, that's it really. I'm gonna um I'm gonna assemble this thing because I've got all the sauce and stuff. And I'll show you the sauce. I did actually. There it is, it's like a red. If this had some dried tomatoes in it, it would actually be like a marinara sauce. I suppose I could have rolled it because I did roll I've only rolled collard greens before actually like this and it works but with the lettuce leaf it always seems to sort of fall apart it's really frustrating oh man let me taste this yeah man. Yep, so it's the end of my vlogging day today now. Um I've just decided to finish it because I actually have a lot of work to finish. My son's not with me this weekend, so I'm doing my work. And so I'm just gonna just chill out and do that. When I say chill out, that doesn't even make sense. Chill out and do work together in the same sentence is a bit of an oxymoron, really, isn't it? But basically I'm gonna just like put my feet up with my laptop, headphones on and just bang out some work. It's just that simple. And today I haven't had enough fruits and vegetables. I've been trying my best to eat all the food, but it just feels like it's just, I feel so full. And I think the reason why I'm full is because of the water content in the fruits, you know? Mm. It's the water content in the fruits, you know? The fruits, like oranges and like if you eat cherry tomatoes stuff like that cucumbers it's got a lot of fruits and a lot of um ugh, water in it and so it just bloats your belly out and you're like oh I don't want to have any more can't be bothered and that's, that's how I'm feeling right now so I'm just gonna get with my work I've still got loads of fruits and vegetables. I haven't actually had my dinner yet and I need to eat it. I've got this um I've got this salad there that I might have. I just I, I can't I actually can't be bothered to even make it right now, to be honest with you. I'm not tired, I feel quite energetic, but I just don't feel like eating salad right now. No choice though, eh? If you want to get healthy, you've got to eat healthy foods. I've been eating rice, pasta, and all that. It's just, it doesn't agree with me. You know, I don't agree with wheat, I think. My son's got a wheat intolerance, and I think I've got it as well. I haven't been diagnosed with that or anything, but I think that's what the, I think that's the case, because I feel a bit, whenever I have wheat, I feel kind of, whenever I have wheat, I feel kind of, um, bloated, and I feel tired, and, Lethargic, and I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna be sick, kind of thing. The light is not very good in here. Um, I've got these spotlights, and they're just so the, the the bulbs are, are gone in some of the lights, and I actually don't have to change it. In my old place, the lights, the way you change it, sometimes you just push it in, turn it, and it comes out. But these ones, you push it in, turn it, and so there's a stupid wire thing that goes over top of it. And you've got to slot it inside. If anyone knows how to do this, please tell me because I'm really struggling with it. You know, I've, I've actually asked a couple of people to help me out as well. They've tried, they can't even do it. It's really, really, really annoying. And so I'm basically have to just like use get some la lamps. There are ones that you could like the stand up floor lamps because I don't have to take out the spotlights. They look nice, but they're fr flipping frustrating and annoying. At the moment, I'm using a different camera. I'm not using it right now. I think it goes over the cap and lens. Um, I'm not using it now because I don't have a tripod. I ordered one on Amazon. Did I, did I mention that this morning? I ordered one on Amazon and it came and it's just nothing like it looks in the picture. It just looks rubbish. So I was like, I'm sending it back. The people that I ordered it from said they're not coming back to work till Monday. I haven't actually worn this hood. 
it's a proper apparently it's been designed for the mp3 player it's got these loops in it anyway whatever um it's been designed same yeah so anyway i need to drink about a litre more of water do some more work upload this and just work I know it's Saturday night and I should be like enjoying myself and all that sort of thing, but it's just not that's not gonna happen today. I must well just accept it. I'm just chilling, it's not even that cold outside, it's just kind of nippy, you know, and you just want to just be inside and have like a nice warm cup of tea or something like that. And just be cozy with like big socks on. That's what I'm doing this weekend. Tomorrow I'm gonna go for a really long walk in the park in the morning, and then I'm actually gonna go to Stratford and I'm gonna go. I'm going to go and buy, um, I'm going to go and buy the tripod from the shop because I'm going to do it quite early as well. You know what, I might even walk there. I don't know. It's going to take about 45 minutes though. <laughs> anyway, just get a bit of exercising, you know. And then by the time I get there, I'll be all sweaty in that and just like a hot mess. Uh, anyway. Bye.